I'm Francois Schmidt from CNRS in the Laboratory of Oceanology and Geosciences in Vimreux, north of France, and I'm going to speak about a quadratic constitutive equation for the turbulent Kolmogorov flow. This is a joint work with Wenwei Wu and Lipo Wang from uh, Shanghai in China, and Enrico Calzavarini from uh, University of Lille. So the outline of my talk is indicated here. I'm first going to speak about uh, historical remarks on the closure problem in turbulence. And then I will recall some of my uh, previous uh, results in the field of uh, channel flow uh, for the direct test of uh, Boussinesque approximation. And finally, I speak about uh, the turbulent Kolmogorov flow. So what in, in the field of turbulence modeling, what is interesting is uh, the strange situation, which is that uh, people use a closure which was proposed by Boussinesque in 1977 in order to solve a problem which has been posed by the Reynolds averaging of uh, Navier-Stokes equation, which was published in 1895. So um, there is a publication order which is not uh, which is uh, uh, quite strange here. And so in order to understand this better, I went to the original sources and uh, this is what I am going to, to indicate now. So if you look at the original source, uh, Boussinesque in fact published, presented his work in 1872 in front of the French Academy of Science, but it was published only in 1877, and there was also an introduction by Savenon. In this source, in fact, um, Wissinesque uh, clearly indicates um, that he is making average of the Navier-Stokes equations, and uh, is simply uh, changing, in fact, the viscosity term and saying that we, we can write this, exactly the same equation by with a variable viscosity. And he's mentioning also uh, an enigma. And he said that more or less he solved this enigma, the enigma of turbulence. So in this uh, Saint-Venant, in the introduction of Saint-Venant, he says the same. He says, if uh, the, the viscosity, the viscosity coefficient is considered as variable, then in fact, when you average Navier-Stokes, you obtain the same equation as uh, Navier-Stokes. In the work of Boussinesque, in fact, you can find the equation which is indicated here. We can see that it's already a tensorial equation. And with a modern uh, notation, if we consider Tig the Reynolds stress tensor, and R, Rg, the traceless stress tensor, where you just uh, subtract, in fact, the, the diagonal, then you can uh, write um, Boussinesque relation as a proportionality between two tensors, the, tensor, the traceless stress, R, and the strain, the mean strain, S. And also in the same uh, publication, what is interesting is uh, the fact that uh, in the modern notation, we call uh, the turbulent viscosity nu t, but uh, in Boussinesque, he noted this uh, epsilon, and he is proposing um, an expression for the, for, for the turbulent viscosity, which is simply uh, a product of a spatial scale and a velocity scale. So in fact, he already proposed at that time a mixing legs expression uh, several decades, in fact, earlier than uh, what was proposed later by uh, Prandt. And so uh, at that time, they considered that, in fact, Boussinesque had uh, solved uh, what was called a true enigma. And uh, later, after the death of uh, Boussinesque, there was um, a presentation uh, and um, a talk by Emile uh, Picard, which was the president at that time of the French Academy of Science. And in this discourse, we can find it, uh, it was published. And he's indicated, in fact, that uh, 
uh, the, that in fact he solved the problem. He say the way he's writing it indicates that uh, Emil Picard thinks that the problem of turbulence was solved by Gusinesk. What is also interesting is to see that the word turbulence was not used at that time. Uh, Boussinesk used words like uh, tumultuous movements, uh, eddy agitation, the movement theory, liquid ed eddy theory. And Reynolds also used different words like sinus pass, sinus motion, etc. In fact, the word turbulence was uh, proposed by uh, William Thompson, which later became Lord Kelvin in a paper in 1887. Uh, it's the paper that I mentioned here. But um, it was not, uh, Businesque and Reynolds didn't uh, follow the proposal of, um, of Lord Kelvin. And in all, all the uh, papers, even after 1887, they never used the word turbulence. So what I'm um, mentioning here about uh, the historical part of uh, Businesque uh, uh, viscosity hypothesis was published in uh, Contre du Mécanique in uh, 2007, and about the historical part about the word turbulence, it was published in Contre du Mécanique in 2017. So that's the end of the first part of this uh, presentation. So for uh, to see the second part about direct tests of business approximation, uh, please go to the second uh, video of this series. Thank you.